Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have Ife Oluwa Oshunke and Ife Omae with me. No, 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 no
they will come back. I thought you were going to say like she, she has a kuni dafu coronavirus. Kuni dafu coronavirus. <laughs> so, but moving on. But I was asking a question now earlier today. I'm saying like, how long do you think this would take? Do you think it would take up to? I see. I've seen the elder sister to corona. He <laughs> <laughs> asked me again. I will answer. Because I'm wondering, like, mm. can it just be over already? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, Until the vaccine is out. Hmm. And I'm sure there's a vaccine. I believe there's a conspiracy theory. Please, there's no air such conspiracy theories. Okay. Um, if you want to join this conversation, probably you have personal experience to share or, or any story that we are discussing, please send your message via WhatsApp to 090-6000-5719. 090-6000-5719. Moving on. Um, Twitter is wilding out after Turilene wants Ike Bruna to stop posting the Nigerian flag on his Instagram live. That's really awkward. <laughs> they say every publicity is. If I know you, you, you did it this morning, so you have to do it again on the show. How did you call him out? I got boner. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the same <laughs> flag. <laughs> I cook boner. <laughs> but what was what was the point? It's story from Nigeria. No, and then, no so he's trying to represent. He's Rep trying to like I, you know. No, okay. I don't know if you guys saw I cook boner's reaction to okay, it, and it was reaction? completely stupid. What if you, you ask me, he says he does it all the time. Yeah, he said every time he's on a live video, he's always posting a Nigerian flag. And because then Nigeria saw, is so unknown that we need publicity or what exactly is he like doing? He, he said then he I saw guess. people that were saying that he should stop posting say or like we pepper them till coronavirus leaves their body. We pepper them with the flag until... And then he kept calling Tory Lanez, Tory. Troy. Oh, oh, Troy. Wasn't Tony okay? Troy. Like, and I'm like, you don't even know who you're watching his live video. You don't even know how to pronounce his name and you're putting your flag on there. Like, bro... I killed Luna, no disrespect, but he's not one of my favorites. But mm. at the same time, I just think that if he was his live, and well, I like the fact that he respected Troy, according to what he calls him. <laughs> he respected Troy, he said, but uh, Uncle Troy, he even called him Uncle Troy, yeah. like, or, no, Oga Troy. You know, and I'm like, bro, this like, COVID is bringing out a lot Yeah, he's bringing a lot of things, and I, I think mean, people are bored. He's always been annoying. Like, I don't know if you've ever, like, followed anything that he does even when he's like clearly the victim maybe he's been like the time dragging him for being gay friend? You mean casual, no, no, no. The, the other Alex. Guys. Alex, you know, he's, he actually called him out as well. He said, he's so Very right. soon you will go to somebody's Instagram page to start posting flag. Who sent you? <laughs> he's just very annoying because even his response was like, Yeah, when he saw people were complaining, then he's like, Well, I'm going to like keep going at it. That's like the well, like, if that's, that's the, the only annoying, thing, annoying, because people annoying, said, like, The thing is, like that people are craving them. for attention. Remember what you said about pastors yesterday? Mm. They need attention. So if this is the only thing that will make you people keep talking about, him. He will keep doing it as long as he's been in. But have news. you seen those flags? <laughs> Guys, it's a lot. A lot. Like, like 20 flags. And he was like doing back again. to. It's not like back. he copies and pastes it. Like when it's like really full, you not copy, you not paste it again, paste it you again. Know, this is what I was saying when we had the Juliet Ibrahim conversation. It's not like I'm trying to drag what she did or what she said, but I feel like as a celebrity who also goes on your life, um, um, on life on Instagram, and you have conversations with your fans, interactions, and you want them to interact with you as well. I expect a level of responsibility when you are at the receiving end when you are now on the fan on somebody's page so what is tory doing that requires you did he say post the flag of your country mm. why are you not engaging the content radio. you yeah. are listening to like usually i see nigerian flags but it always has to do with something about us so like that maybe a popular page or, they play or clothes, song that is something nigerian. that's nigerian thank you yeah things like that but he wasn't even doing any of that well, any well, of that and you're just posting flags so why are you there to be ridiculous i don't know i think that's that's and that then you the know idea. i i saw somebody's reaction and somebody was like just last week and Auntie Juliet was there to embarrass us, <laughs> to embarrass us, and um, you are there now to do this. So who this. will do next week? Uh, we hope nobody, please. Uh, well, I don't guys, think nobody. Just, we'll just keep out. this African country. Even Tori Lane's, there's, 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 I like how it's about the comments in Tori Lane's thing that we're discussing. Okay. Not Tori Lane's videos. Do you want to talk about I said, him? oh, let's mm. not shake this table. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm ready. I'm trying, I'm trying to be a good girl, so let's just leave it. Just let's give see. us one line. Tori Lane's. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't really like the idea of... I Maybe mean, one time, two times, three times. After a while, I started to get really tacky. Especially, I don't know if you saw the, the one, one with them live like, videos. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the one with the milk mm -hmm. that, that Juliet actually um, re re replied on. It was like, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know. Is this PG-18, this show? <laughs> it was like, plumbing together. It was like, milk yeah. in between and everything. Like it's They called him. 
Now Instagram this actually be like easy. tried to um turn Put it down. No, yeah they turn did turn it, it turn okay. um, his live off for a while yeah. so it was getting borderline soft porn and I don't really think that's necessary. Mm. I'm bottom everybody like um I don't okay. know who said. Okay, have you been watching porn out of bottom? I don't need to watch. Wow. Porn. Oh, okay. Um let's go on a very I good don't break. Need to watch but when porn. we come back we'll find out more from if you okay. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. music is from mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we have a reaction on, or reactions, but we'll have to take just one on the story. Of um, Aiko Buna. So this response is for Ifeo Shoke. It says, I believe Aiko Buna called um, Tori Troy because Tori butchered his name. That's what I believe. And that's coming from Temi Dayo. Temi Dayo, thank you for that one. But that, that's dumb as well. So why is, that does it keep getting dumber? Because in And this they're trolling each other now. You mm -hmm. have to keep no, the same no, You know what? He, no, he didn't butcher his name. He doesn't know how to pronounce his Fair name. Uh, then Aiko doesn't, doesn't, doesn't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <Troy Lanes. laughs> All right. So if you have more to say on any of the topic, please send your message via WhatsApp to 09065715719. Moving on. Who are those? This is coming from Brimo. As they say, he rubbishes Whiskey, Bonaboy, and Davido. So this is what happened. Brimo tweeted saying, Make your fave. Um, take a two year two year break. Um, make we see who go listen to them on re on return. I think I'm horrible with pigeon. And then the Twitter user fired back at him saying, "Bros, rest. Whiskey, Bonaboy Boy, and Davido are above you. I noticed you have been chasing clout since that comparison three days ago. Bonaboy's Boy's African Giant album, Whiskey Soundman EP, Davido's." Yeah. BMM and Risky, none of your music released over the past five years makes wave like the above um, body of work I mentioned. Then Brimo responded saying, who are those? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I disagree with the statement that says that uh, his music didn't... I, I mean, it's like comparing two different elements. So already the comparison is wrong. I think mm -hmm. Nigerians have a very poor listening ears. Mm -hmm. If it's not Bedu, then they don't appreciate it. <laughs> um, and it's quite shallow, to be honest. You, it, it's like comparing hockey and basketball. Like, they're both sports, but they're very different and have, in their own right, different types of energy that it presents. So, um, for someone like me, who values lyrics and and yeah, conscious music a lot more than Bedu, I disagree with that statement, saying that all three of them to combine together, maybe Burner Boys, um, African Giants, I think it was a lot more thoughtful. There were still radio tricks that were involved there, but I feel like he was a bit more conscious with his music mm -hmm. and his lyrics, and that combination really killed it for me. But I, I would disagree to say that, you know, um, um, Burner, um, Brimo's... Um, Albums haven't necessarily done that. The first comment, though, if you bring it back to that, where is the lie in that? Where is the lie that your faves, if they stop singing today, their songs will actually still be remembered? E except from when we were talking about like um, Don Jazzy's time with um, Wande oh, yeah. Cole, and also that's when we used to make music that I could listen to till today. Tum, tum, I can't tum, tum, even tum, listen tum, tum, after tum, tum. after Starboy. I can't listen to any of. Um, uh, what's it called? David um, Whiskey's Whiskey's album without actually feeling like I need to listen to Whiskey. Not that I'm urging for that music, but I can't say the same for Brian Moore. I just feel like Brian Moore's music just you know it speaks to me as all the time. As, um, you know, Brian Moore's music is timeless. I also have a problem with the fact that he's acting like he doesn't know who Bono Boy, Whiskey, and David O mm. are. I don't that's think he he's. I don't think that's what he's implying. But that's what in he, the context of the I think he's saying that with, with, his, with their music. Yeah. And I don't think he can see their music because that's not his 
his, his, um, his, his yeah. style, his genre. Um, and I really like the angle you came from because really, if it's, let me call it what you called it, if it's not Bedu, you can't compare Bedu and, um, should I call Brimo Soul? Or what, what, what can so. we call Somebody it? Somebody said... I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but the person said Nigerians have been through a lot and are still going through a lot. So that the only way you can get into their soul is with fast music and good. That if we were a more developed country, then we would start appreciating music I from the likes agree. of Brian. I have to agree. I did not yeah, say we have so. no, but, but, but let's think about it. I've been in traffic <laughs> all day. I probably have been eating roadside food all day. Uh, no, I'm just saying, like, I and haven't then, had a proper meal all day. Sorry. And then I get back to my house, and you think the first thing I want to play is by Of course, I want to play something. You want to play something? I want to play something. I will take my mind. You know, hey. I'll take my worries away before <laughs> you know you forget it. Because I'm going to repeat the cycle. Some people will mm. find that as noise. Yeah. Some people actually want to, like, listen to music that means something to the artist, especially. Like, when somebody writes about, and that's why we, we don't have that culture here like most people would even tell you the meaning of their songs where it was coming from here it's, a, it's only a few people that i can say oh i know the story of how the they made that, that music. don't even know the story of how they make the music until you ask them during an interview and they be like ah um, um <laughs> yeah and that just shows something. that they were not giving you quality some mm -hmm. of us not all nigerians need to digest Berdu, and i think that's also a very like stereotypical much. thing some people want to come back home and digest some asha and clear mm -hmm. their minds not just bangalore music and it's like it perfect. is much as I love Brimo, I love Asha, but I have specific timing for their music. Mm. It's either in bed when I'm about to sleep or when I wake up in the morning. Why can't you sleep with David and Bonabon? So we have bad dreams. Wow, <laughs> I have bad dreams. They will chase me with cutlass in my dream. Wow, <laughs> they just okay. blow my mind. I think, <laughs> I think the answer is the whole. Yeah, that, that sums it up. Yeah. Yeah. You, so, you're on our side. You know, there, there, there are times for people like Primo or when I'm with Bay. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you know, we're having a private quiet. There's time. times for all of them. The argument yeah. isn't that. The argument is whether or not. So what's... now, back to what I was saying. Don't bring whiskey. David Doe and Bonoboy and sum them up like no and sum them up like they are nobody like they have an influence if, okay. if in they that throw, conversation they're nobody to him they've not influenced his music in any way maybe they should way. have brought you know, to somebody like Bono, do you know what this is yeah, the problem I have we get yes. to we well. get Ladipo to pick and choose like... we get to pick and choose when to support our fans because at the end of the day if it was a Bonner boy who said the same Bono boy will have said, we said it, we've said it so many times if a Bonner boy have said it in the wrong way Bonner boy might have said it the same way and there would have been like I really doubt that I feel like we haven't uh, um, um, been against every maybe single thing maybe because he's done it one too many times who are those they don't chop <laughs> <laughs> maybe because it's done it once too many times up. but i believe that primal to honestly speaking think i'm, I'm, cocky, I'm right? getting tired Just say, let me yeah know i think he's beginning to have that god okay. complex as well and okay. i think he's I think, beginning I think, to blow his own trumpet think, I'm, I'm one of the believers that if if you don't blow your trumpet who's going to blow it for you anyways. so why you but are they, it's getting too much it's becoming too much that it's beginning to sound like the trumpet of uh what's it called now when we're all going to are you not a christian or this oh so you're not a christian okay moving on Christ, we're all Christians. Ah, happy. But you are the one that will go to God through Jesus. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> anyway, Twitter reacts as the video and Asha perform each other's song. Now the reactions are hilarious. Mm. I appreciate the video <laughs> so much. His like, effort, yeah, his zeal, his passion. I have, I have a super, ah, that's what makes I have a super successful. impression of this one, but I'm scared. I don't want to spoil our microphones. Like no, I can please, do the please. impression no, of the The mic is very Are you original. Sure? I can take it. Go ahead. No, I don't want to block the eardrums of our listeners. I feel <laughs> like that's why the video is successful. It's because we can see the zeal behind mm. it. That's something I think mm. Whiskey lost along the way. Like, remember when I first used to listen to Whiskey? It was just so passionate. And now it just has too much swag and too much drip. Um, the video wasn't know? even bothered. Whether you put I your voice or not. It was in his eyes himself. and giving the facial expression. It was beautiful like, to like, me. Like, yeah, like, I mean, it was it like he felt like it was Marvin Gaye. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even and joking. You know, to be honest with you, because you see some creativity as well. I like the way he mixed from like the first verse mm -hmm. to the bridge rather than going into chorus because he knew that that chorus was too high and then he still gave me mm -hmm. the whole like um bridge thing. It was kind of nice. I thought, I to be honest with you, I, I guess, thoroughly enjoyed let's it. Let's be real. When Asha sang Blew My Mind, it wasn't blowing my mind. No, it wasn't. So it blew yeah. my mind away. Maybe because I love Asha so much. No, I don't and think she did justice to the song. She did I justice to blow me. She also did If. I don't know if you saw her. I 
she did if was if. much better than yeah, she did, blew my um, mind. she did blow my mind she did if and i think she did one other one I, I can't remember is it four or she did one other one of david o song and it was it was pretty good but david o honestly like you said up a size the passion come on that was a terrible singing well, we know that the video sings terrible. Then why try to sing? Why don't you look for that one of his Why don't you look for Jayla? Jayla, like a fast you mother. Still, nah, All you of us can still sing. It. Do you understand? If you don't, if you don't, give don't try Bibanke. Bibanke the... is too deep for a David Doe to sing. Oh, wow. Is it too deep or the pitch is too the high? Pitch, no, not the pitch. The, it's the depth. The Death pitch. The, <laughs> the, the the it's not like she's rewriting it. What? No, don't worry. I, I know where I'm say, what I'm saying. Because if you're listening to that, you know that the banke is a song that is so You don't need to soulful. complicate things. David is not a singer. He's not. And you're asking him He's, to sing. It doesn't matter what Jayla. song. Even like happy band. birthday to you. I think you still hear that squeaky voice thing that you think he has. Did you think he did good? I think he did okay. You think? I, think, I, think, I enjoy the performance. David, you did good, please. I'm going on your birthday next year. David is coming to sing for you. Please. That would be you. nice. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation by tweeting at us at Plus TV Africa or just use the hashtag on Twitter, Tea Time. And um, remember, you can catch up on this conversation by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always you go to my co anchors, my amazing co anchors, yeah. Ifeo Mai and Ife Oluo Oshunke, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus. TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.